I'm Mark Hernandez. I'm the director of softball here at Sluggers Academy. I'm also the director of uh, Metro West Thunder uh, club softball program. Uh, well, I came by way of Detroit. Um, I grew up in Detroit, born and raised in Detroit, and I started coaching out there and um, realized that there was not many opportunities in Detroit. We knew Detroit was going downhill before the rest of the world did, so I migrated out here to where uh, I still had some family out here and started over, and softball wasn't as big as it was back in the Midwest at that time, and um, I started with Central Mass Thunder, and I started uh, giving lessons at a place in RBI in Foxboro, and it just grew from there. I grew my clientele from there, and then I got involved with uh, Central Mass Thunder and was there for you know four or five years, and then started here. I started actually my own business was complete softball, giving lessons here. I was renting out space, and then the owners approached me and said, you know, we want to bring you on, and, you know, talked about creating a softball program here, and that's where we started uh, Metro West Thunder, and that was in 2012. Softball is, is, is growing, and it's hard to grow an organization because everybody is starting a team. Um, there are so many teams. When I started this, we were able to pull kids I had kids on my showcase team from Connecticut, from New Hampshire, from Rhode Island. Uh, now, because there's so many teams out there, it's it's really become a regional team to where you know you just don't get as many kids. Um, there's just so many teams out there that call themselves showcase teams that are you know run by you know mom and dads that really don't understand you know how the process works or can help a kid really achieve what they're looking for, and and, and people gravitate towards that and. They go on these teams because they don't make other teams and it's just they bring their friends and it's just it's it's hard it's hard to grow right now but you know we sustain you know we still we have a team at every level and we've never not had that that's a great question uh, we try to make it not about softball all the time um, and we try to talk about you know giving kids confidence in you know making relationships with the kids and the families and you know, I still have kids sending me videos. I had a kid last night send me a video from Curry. She had her first home run. Um, kid that's just getting ready to get married and have her first child. Um, you know, she's on my team 10 years ago. And we, we try to make connections with kids and, and, and not make it all about this is what we've done. This is what we do here on the field. We try to make it as much about off the field as we can. Um, and it's hard because all the different personalities, these kids are coming from different schools. Sometimes you get kids from the same school on the same team, but it's hard and it, it, it takes time. It takes time and uh, everybody throws that word around culture. And I don't know if they realize how hard it is and how much it takes and the time it takes to develop that. We are, and, and again, it's another word that's thrown around is, is, is family. We are close, you know, and we, we let that mature into itself we don't force that on anybody uh, we don't we don't do but we do so many things off the field program wise and we really are a program it's not four or five separate teams we do cookouts together you know we have um, you know introductions where every team you know we haven't since COVID but we come out here and we have a cookout outside where every team brings a grill we eat we sit around and we talk and, and it's just I travel to the 12U games, 14U games, 16U games, and parents see us there and they see us, you know, being invested in their daughters at the 12 and 14U level, watching their games on a Saturday. And it's like, uh, Mark Hernandez must not have a life. He drove all the way down here to watch my daughter play in a 14U game. But that's that's what it's about. And I think those those little things matter. And I think parents and families see those things and they appreciate those things. Uh, confidence is one. Um, not afraid to fail and we use a term one of the best books I've ever read in my entire life I just read it about two summers ago it's run to the roar and we we run to the noise we're not afraid of it you know we try to teach these kids that you know if you want to play big time you got to go big time and not worrying about what's gonna happen we try to teach about being in the moment you know worrying about that pitch that play right here right now not about your last at bat the last pitch or anything like that. And the, the hard part about baseball and softball is it's brutal. And people don't really understand the mental part of it. And when you look at a lot of people that have failed in the sport who had talent, but just weren't tough enough to handle the times that they failed. And that's what we really, really try to teach here. It's not all about everything's okay, everything's gonna be rosy, because it's not. It's really, truly not.
the, the biggest thing, the biggest thing is, is communication. Because we really try to tell these parents that if your child is not getting something that they feel they need to communicate with us, I don't want to hear from you. I want to hear from your, your daughter. And sometimes you get the situation where my daughter's not comfortable, so I'm reaching out. And sooner or later, that, that, that child's going to have to reach out and say, you know, what can I do to play more? What can I do to get on the field more, get more at bats, get this? And have those honest dialogues in, with the understanding that I may tell you something that you're not going to like. And how you handle that determines your life path, not softball path, because none of these girls are going to play professionally, so to speak. You know, they're not getting paid for this. They're not working to make a living for at this to get drafted. And there's so many, you know, metaphors in this thing and, where you can use the life lessons, and that's one of them, is, is communicate. And not everything's going to go your way. And what I'm telling you, you may not like, and I'm not asking you to like it, but what I'm asking you to do is understand it, respect it, and, and work through that, and work through that. The biggest thing that, that 2020 and, and COVID has taught me and what I've taken and say, I, I'm going to use this, I can use this as a tool here, is, is to teach these kids perspective. Um, we are going through a time in this country, in this world, where people are losing their lives, their jobs. People are losing loved ones, and they can't be in the same room with them. They have to have a stranger hold up the phone to watch their loved ones pass away. And we're worried about so many trivial things in terms of, I'm not batting second, I'm batting fifth. Why is that? I'm not batting leadoff, or I didn't start the championship game, or I didn't get to play outfield as much. And... And at that time and in that place, it's probably important to those kids. And I'm not, you know, how you feel is how you feel. We never want to tell kids or not to, no, we never want to neglect kids' feelings. But at the end of the day, you know, there are people out there lost, worse off than us. And we may feel a tough loss or you may have a tough game, but, you know, you're able to get back up tomorrow and go out and play. A lot of people are not able to do that. It's, it, being around the kids, man, it, it's just, the whole thing is, it's, it's intoxicating for me to get up in the summer and travel somewhere and, and watch the kids pull in and the different parents pull in and, and get ready and look at our schedule and figure out who's going to go do what, who I'm pitching first, you know, wh what's going to happen and just see where the day takes us. And then from that, if it's successful, talk about those successes. If it's not successful, talk about the things that we did wrong and move on and try to get them to understand that. Tomorrow's a different day. Let's come back out. We're going to start all over and start punching people in the mouth again. For me, in, in, in my perspective, when I first you know, start, met with Mark and started talking with Mark, um, you know, I started researching, went online, looked, at, looked you guys up and started. It's the, the amount of things that are offered with you know, Firecracker in terms of, I call it one-stop shopping. You know, a parent and a family can get everything they need or want out of that tournament and going there and choose. And it's, and it's almost like um, a la carte menu, you know what I mean? I don't have to do this. I already got this, but I want this. I want that. I want, I'll take this. I'll take that. And tournaments offer different things, but not in one place. Um, and it's hard for people that are not in the business or haven't been in it for a while. They don't know what that means, but... To me, what it means is you sign up for a tournament and it's one-stop shopping in terms of letter writing, videos, you know, coaches' contacts, all that stuff. And we put a lot of that on our kids. You know, I make the kids do that. It's your work. You, you own, take some ownership of it. But for me, I get the bang for your buck there from what I can tell is, is going to be well worth it. And I'm really, truly excited. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever been this excited about going to a tournament to see what it's truly like and, and everything that's offered there. I think if you don't do it, you're making a huge mistake. I think if you don't try it one time, you're making a huge mistake, and I think you're putting the kids in your program at a disadvantage behind everybody else. It, it does not hurt. It can't hurt to try it once. You know, you've been to tournament. Everybody's been to a tournament before in their coaching career and said, I will never go back there again. There's no reason why you shouldn't try this.
There's no reason why. My experience from the time that we met up until now has been nothing but positive, has been nothing but encouraging, has, been, has done nothing for me but to make me more excited about getting my girls out there to play and, and, and see what, what's going to happen.